Hey, it is Nick, aka Epic Danger, on the Instagram, back with the Beautiful Families Project. Soon enough, I will bring my wife in to do some of these uh, videos with me, but for now, we're just getting started. So, uh, here I am, I am back with another video, um, and this one is how to talk to your kids about um, transgender folks. So, we are all seeing a bunch of stuff in the news lately about trans folks between bathroom bills and um, GSAs and safe places for trans folk and trans folk in the military and all sorts of other things that your kids may be noticing that transgender people are on the rise in the media. Um, and we've always existed, you know, we're about as common as redheaded people, so just put that in, out there. So. When there's a ginger in the room, there might be a trans person too. But um, your kids are starting to notice and maybe asking questions and I know if you're like me, um, I dread these questions because I'm really afraid of screwing them up. So here we are. We're gonna teach you the how I would do it. Uh, maybe it's this is not how everyone would do it. I'm This is not a disclaimer that I'm speaking for all transgender people across the universe but I am speaking for me. So when people are like, what do I tell my kid about trans folks? I tell them this. I say, you tell your kids that there are a ton of different ways to be a boy and a ton of different ways to be a girl. And some people think that there's just one way to be each of those things. Um, and there are lots of different ways that you can be that have nothing to do with being a boy and a girl. That there are lots of different expressions of gender and that we're all just sort of a just people. And for some reason, the world is interested in separating us in boy and girl, um, but that is not as complex as people are. Because just like people are really interesting on the inside, they, they care about lots of different things. Some people care about dinosaurs, and some people care about math, and some people care about art, and some people care about music, and some people care about dogs, and some people hate dogs, and some people hate cats. <clears throat> Uh, I don't hate them, I just don't love them. It's fine. But people are endlessly interesting on the insides, and actually people are endlessly interesting on the outsides too. And just like our insides are complicated, so are our outsides. We're made up of lots of different parts, but for some reason, the way that we've decided to categorize people is based on their genitals. So on whether they have a penis or a vagina, which is pretty complicated because that's not the most important part of me or you, is it? Nope. Right? And so when sometimes the doctor will look at a baby when they're born and go, oh, this is a boy because he has a penis or this is a girl because she has a vagina or actually there's intersex people who are born with, with parts that are not necessarily all just penis or all just vagina. They're different versions of that. Some, some people have both some people have uh, just testicles, but also a vagina. There's lots of different ways that we just don't we just don't talk about these parts very often because they're not important. The only people that the only thing that those parts are important to are the people that have them. And then eventually, when you are older and grown up and in love, the people who you are sharing those parts with. That's it. So. Sometimes the doctors get it wrong when they look at the outside parts because the outside parts are not necessarily the most important parts. And when that happens, then sometimes people end up having to live their lives in a way that doesn't feel good to them. And they eventually will realize that and hopefully, if they're lucky, and have the opportunity to ex uh, explore what that might look like. and try different things on, and then eventually if they realize, oh no, for sure, I definitely was supposed to be a boy or a girl or non-binary, um, they can go to a doctor and have a doctor help them balance their hormones to help their outsides match their insides better. And no one that is transgender is doing it for any reason other than to live exactly like the way they wanna live. That just like you like whatever the thing your kid is obsessed with, and that you want to have all the, the ability to enjoy that, they just want to have the ability to enjoy the things that they love and who they are as well. That's it. It really isn't complicated. That's the whole conversation. You know, for me, it was then telling our kids things like, and so you're going to notice that dad is going to start looking more like a dad, and that, 
you know, at the time it was mom, but mom was going to start looking more like a dad and that people are going to start calling him he and him and his and that those are the things that that's how we respect people and love them is that we, they tell us their truth and then we go, oh, thank you for telling me who you are. I'm so grateful to know. How can I support you? And for me, that was using pronouns. It was using names like Nick it, uh, rather than my birth name. It was things like that. It, um, for different people, it's going to be different things. But just having that conversation and saying like, oh, so we, we believe people when they tell us the truth about them. That we trust that they know their body and their insides and their heart more better and more in depth than some doctor that met them on the day they were born. And so we're going to trust them and we're going to believe them and we are going to support them in being who they are. And that's really it. There isn't much else to it. Cool? So uh, I hope that that helped. I hope that it will open up some conversations with you and your loved ones. Uh, and I hope that that sort of answered all your questions. If it didn't, leave some comments below, share the video, subscribe, like, do all the things. Uh, we would love your support and we are so grateful for it. Um, so we'll see you soon.